zigzagging, constantly shifting priorities. And I mean, as a senior leader, people are coming to you all the time saying, why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Yep. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And so it's a mistake to be constantly changing priorities or changing focus or being faddish and constantly, rather than being like, this is where we're going to go and it's going to take us a couple of years or three years or five years, let's pursue it. Mm -hmm. To constantly zigzag every 12 months or six months to whatever's wafting on the wind means that you, you won't ever be able to get the traction that you mm. need. It takes time for these things to happen. So that's a mistake, constantly zigzagging, mm. changing focus. What about focusing on what already exists rather than pioneering for what could be, being the advocate for the potential? Yes. And, and I think this sounds like the opposite of the first one. The first one is you need to not take opportunities, right? Stay mm -hmm. with, with what you've got. Whereas this one is when you don't take any opportunities. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a wisdom, you know, there's a, there's a tension between staying the course and not changing, but then also not looking for any opportunities at all, not being aware of anything new that we might do. And that's just like a wisdom thing. Those two things maybe feel a bit opposite. So it's wisdom. When should I take an opportunity? When should I not? But if I'm constantly just in the weeds doing what we're currently doing and not as the senior leader looking for opportunities to do something else, then it's a mistake because the senior leader, as well as being an agent of organization, you know, getting things clear, getting things ready, the senior leader also needs to be an agent of disorganization and rough things up and do new things and wreck stuff a bit, break things a bit so that we can do the, the new, new thing. thing. Yeah. Give us an example. Well, so, you know, you might be like, we need. I'm just going to be doing all the things we currently do. We just need to... We do need it to more efficiently. Do yeah. it more efficiently. Just work on these systems, work on these processes. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. But efficiency is maybe not the best objective. Probably effectiveness is the best objective, which might mean not being very Changing, efficient. Changing, stopping doing something, starting doing something new. Right, that's right. I mean, Peter Drucker once said that, um, you know, the the worst thing a leader can do is to make more efficient something that we shouldn't do, do. to begin with. Yeah. And so we can get caught up in making the systems efficient and then not be aware enough that there's a new school that's opening up around yeah. the corner or there's a new opportunity over here that we haven't thought of or there's a church plant that we could be thinking about over here in the new area. Or, But I'm not thinking about because I'm just making sure we're getting more efficient at these systems and mm. the stuff we've already got. That's a mistake, to not be up and aware.